Hey guys, uh, we're back with the uh, Blade XTR. Um, we're out here at Motorsport Ranch. Uh, this is uh, where we're located now. Um, uh, we've done a lot to the car since our last video. Uh, basically, um, since the last time we did the video, uh, Motorsport Ranch had a, a 10 year uh, anniversary event and um, we decided to uh, put in a lot of overtime on the car to try to get this car uh, as far as long as possible so that we could uh, kind of open the garage doors and get an idea and let people come through to get an idea of what we're doing and see what their comments and feedback uh, was on the car. And uh, out of about 50 people that came through, uh, all the comments were pretty good. Um, there were about 500 people out here and it seemed like everybody knew about the car. Um, and we just didn't catch everybody coming through because we were out too busy uh, looking at the cars ourselves and going around the racetrack and stuff like that. So, uh, me, Eric, uh, Amit, and Eli um, uh, have all been out here uh, working on the car um, every day for the past uh, two, three, four weeks or so, uh, really uh, knocking out a lot of the uh, uh, hard work on the car. So, <laughs> uh, basically, we're pretty much done with the fiberglassing. Um, there's probably a few areas that we'll, we'll hit and uh, adjust and, and whatever, you know, later on. But uh, basically we're at the stage of applying the, uh, the surface, the body filler on top of the surface and tweaking all of the lines and, and uh, details to the car now. Uh, so that's why it's mostly white, has a few spots where you can kind of see the fiberglass coming through. Um, basically these are kind of high-low type areas and uh, eventually it'll probably, probably be all one color and we'll end up painting it um, uh, soon down the road. So, uh, as you can see, we've, we really have, uh, let's go up here to the vents. We've worked on um, the front uh, little snorkel vents up, up on the hood, and they have a lip to them and an edge uh, to help uh, suck the air out of uh, the radiator and, and engine compartment. So, um, that's in the works and a little bit of tweaking to do on that. Uh, the, the front end, um, uh, air splitter or whatever you want to call this in the middle, uh, has been tweaked on a little bit and it's a lot cleaner and the lines are really coming out now. So, uh, so we've been putting a lot of work into that area. Um, we have, uh, makeshift tires, uh, in place. Obviously there's no wheels. Um, we won't really, um, get the wheels until we start putting the chassis and the suspension together so we know what the proper uh, offset is. Um, also an area that you may notice in the video is kind of ugly is the lip around the wheel. Um, we're gonna tweak that uh, last uh, because that's gonna depend uh, a lot on the size tire and wheel that we use. And we may need to open that up or close it up a little bit uh, depending on what, what size tires that we do go with. Um, let's see, in the back it's fully fiberglass now along with uh, the body filler and the paint. We have like this splatter paint uh, on the car and this helps us when sanding basically give you an idea um, uh, where my hand is, is uh, where it's real bright white this is a, an area that's high and where the paint um, is at this is an area that's low and so when you can still see that paint and you can feel it with your hand uh, that, that's telling us this, this area is low on the car and that this area is high so we'll either fill in this black area with uh, more filler or we'll sand uh, the high spots down to this level. Um, it just depends on what the shape of the car is supposed to be at, at this area and, and basically how the other side goes at the same time. So uh, a lot of variables that go into the, the body work. Um, it's a lot harder than it looks and it's a big pain in the butt. <laughs> so, um, so there you go. And uh, let's see, we have the back. There's the tail lights in, and you can really start to get an idea uh, what's what's coming together with the tail lights. Um, you can get an idea where the diffuser, the rear diffuser, is at. Um, now the tires are supposed to be a little a little higher up into the fender wells. We just have them resting on foam blocks right now. So, uh, but basically, this this gives you an idea where the rear diffuser is going to go. And if you notice anything uh, with different with the back, it's because we have taken out the uh, the rear tail lights or not the real tail, tail lights, but the rear uh, backup lights. Um, basically, uh, the rear backup lights, which are right here, uh, are not round exactly. So when we got them into the car, um, it didn't really look, look right to us. So we're like, well, let's, uh, 
scrap this idea and move on to a different deal. So, um, so basically we have uh, some new tail lights or new backup lights coming. <laughs> Get that word right. Uh, and we're going to put the uh, the rear uh, backup lights here, and maybe maybe around in this area. We're not really sure, but uh, it's hard to explain when I'm just pointing to a blank area, but. Once we get them in, um, you'll understand. So, uh, we still have a lot of work to do in the back. Um, it's probably hard to see because I just had a light go out <laughs> uh, just while I was on this video, or doing this video. So, it's a little darker back here now. And um, you kind of get an idea of the way everything is shaping together. Here's the inside. Obviously, we're going to take out this dash probably next week or something. Um, the space behind the seat, we're going to have a roll bar uh, back here. Uh, that you see. Um, there's some tape that we have. I need to yank off. Um, but uh, kind of get an idea how the doors are, are starting to fit together. Um, the lines are real nice and clean. And everything opens up pretty good. And that that's good because that's going to make it easier for the mold shop to produce molds off of that. So as much working stuff we can have, the better. Um, other than that, uh, you know, we've really just been uh, working away, like nonstop, uh, just uh, getting this going as fast as possible so that we get to the mold stage. Um, we're, we're getting there. Um, we're still at a, uh, at a rough stage at the moment where we're using the, the body fillers and, and fiberglass to build up areas that, that need uh, to be built up or um, tweak in some designs um, that were changing at the last minute or, or whatever. So, uh, so there's still many hours of that uh, before we go on to the final uh, finishing of the car's surface. And then we'll apply paint and uh, uh, base coats and stuff like that onto the car and it'll start to really look like a real car. And then that's when all the real excitement starts to happen when we take it to the mold shop. So, uh, so there it is, gives you an idea. Um, one thing that we kind of did is this line that's going down the fender that we still need to tweak a little. Uh, we have it um, basically running down the car. And let's see, it comes down and then it runs to the door and it follows, oh, I gotta pull my camera back, but it follows back the door and then up over the fender and back down so uh, so it really has a nice line to the car um, I don't know if you can really see it uh, then also um, uh, while we're at the event uh, the 10 year event for most wrench um, we uh, noticed that on the Audi R8s they had a pretty cool uh, spoiler system on their car that wasn't uh, too um, crazy looking or you know, over-exaggerated like you see on race cars or, or it didn't have that, um, you know, uh, Euro tuner car look. So uh, basically, um, we kind of like that idea and I think we're going to adapt uh, something like that. It was kind of a minimal spoiler setup um, that was, uh, had linear actuators that raised and lowered it. Um, it was all made of carbon fiber and it was pretty slick and we really liked it. So uh, we may adapt that type of spoiler to to this setup here um, later on. So uh, there you go, and that's the car for now. Um, we'll give you another update soon. Uh, it's really, really hot, and we're all dying here. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'll uh, catch you guys uh, next week or so on the next video, and give you another update uh, how things are going. See you later. Bye.